Today we're gonna to be talking about marital issues. You know, people say that you're in the honeymoon stage when you first get married, um, and for us, we did not feel that at all. I feel that our first two years of marriage was extremely difficult. Also too, that year, um, my wife forgot to mention, um, she was going through extreme depression. Also too, I believe Satan was uh, behind it as well. So th there's a, there was a lot of factors, and yes. I, I, re I remember too, there was this vision that God had gave me of this uh, beautiful tree. Right before all the issues happened in that year, I seen this tree, and uh, I seen these roots in the ground, and this light was around the tree, and the Lord gave me an interpretation, and I was the tree, and the roots were in Jesus Christ, and there was a brilliant light around the tree, and it was the Lord. And so the Lord was, I said, oh, praise God. That means I'm really rooted in Christ and, you know, the Lord is with me. And I just thought it was that. But two weeks later, um, issues started happening and, and it yes. was like, I couldn't pinpoint what was going on, you know. So we did link into depression, but um, it was a spiritual warfare and yes. attacking our fam our marriage specifically, specifically. Yes. you know. And so for me, uh, you know, it was a struggle because I'm like, man. Uh, one thing about me is I, I do try my best. I believe in the grace of God for my salvation, but I also believe, I don't just say, well, God's grace and treat my wife like crap or don't do nothing around the house or, you know, don't make sure she's okay or my kids are okay, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I believe there's a, a aspect because I am saved by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross, now I should live for him and I should do that at home. Yeah. So I live for Christ at home and um, I serve my wife or, and my kids. And I was making sure, too, that I'm doing what I got to do. But I felt like I was. But yet, um, these issues were there. And it didn't make sense. It didn't make sense of why these things were happening all the way. And so, um, we actually uh, had to get uh, uh, counseling. Yeah. And I was going to counseling myself. Um, because I knew it, depression is something I have Professional counseling, with we're saying. Since, I mean, since I was a teenager, really, that I could remember. Um, and I have had... Um, counseling in and out like my whole life but during this time I did start seeking help um professionally and then we also went together as a couple yeah. um to get marital professional help and so you know we say this and we bring these things up Christian because, counselor too <laughs> yes it was yes it is and they're yeah. you know we we were able to get connected with a Christian counseling hopefully you guys have that in your um town we're gonna go through things and it's okay to need help outside of each other. Yeah. Um, so not only did we seek counseling, we spoke to our pastors as well yeah. individually. Did we go together? No, we didn't no. go together with our um, pastors. But we did go individually, separately. Yes, we did. Um, yeah. I do have a group of women that I would talk to that would hear me out, counsel me, uh, hold me accountable, so to speak. I think the one thing <laughs> that he didn't understand was what I was going through and that made it more frustrating and more issues because he wasn't understanding what was happening with me and you know in a sense I wasn't understanding why you know I'm thinking I'm a Christian I'm saved I have beautiful children I have a home I have a wonderful husband why am I feeling this way why do I um, it, it was almost like a numbness that I felt like I had no emotion um, during that time. Like I couldn't, it was hard for me to get emotional and cry. And it, it was just a weird time. But seeking help and they did try to prescribe me medication. It didn't work out for me in that area. But, you know, by the grace of God and, and him, really, he's the ultimate healer. He's the ultimate medicine. And if it wasn't for, you know, and I contemplated whether not going to Puerto Rico and having this trip because I'm like, we're doing so bad. Why fake it and have this little family trip? Because I don't like doing that. Yeah. But God knew what he was doing. And he knew that we needed that restoration. We needed that time away from everything and really to remember what we have. And um, which is God ordained. It's God given. Yeah. And so when we look at our spouse as a blessing, um, although they might get on our nerves and frustrate yeah. us. Um, we have to understand that they are a gift from God yeah. and you know, God doesn't want us to treat each other the ways that you were saying, but you know, to uplift each other, um, which I'm getting better at because I haven't always been 
yeah. that good yeah. at that either. Yeah, and, <laughs> and I want to say for me at that time, I felt like I was doing the best I could. I, I honestly did, you know, um, without a doubt. You know, was I perfect? No, but I mean, making sure all my bases are covered, you know. Making sure, like we, you know, I would set up our date nights and mm -hmm. making sure our yeah, kids were okay. Trying. Making sure too that I balance ministry mm -hmm. and how much I go to work and how much I spend time with my family. And so, mm -hmm. like, I'm looking at myself. I'm like, man, I'm, these bases are covered, but still, this attack is coming, and I don't understand. Um, also, too, if spiritually, I felt like a spiritual roller coaster, where there were some days I felt spiritually strong and then spiritually just broken and weak, you know, in the midst of this. And uh, I remember for for two weeks. You know, praise God for Pastor Lou, Pastor G, Pastor Neum for, from our church. Mm -hmm. uh, I was calling them every day, every day. Like, this is how bad it got. Like, you know, how I actually started feeling like some type of depression too, you know, where things that my wife were telling, was saying to me, even mentioning divorce, man, that put some huge holes in me. I, I felt affected. I felt like I was harmed, you know? And so... Pastor G went over with me. I remember him saying, look, man, you're a great father. You're a great husband. You're a great man of God. He says, stand firm, yes. you know, move forward, you know, and those words encouraged me, you know, and then Pastor Lou would pray with me. Uh, Pastor Newman's would hear me out. And I, I thank God for them, you know, at those, those times, those moments, you know, and I remember too, one day uh, I felt spiritually like there was like some type of a dagger in my, in my heart, you know, when, uh, you know, some things that my wife had told me, it really, really hurt me. And so that took some time too. For the Lord because I wanted it to be quick I wanted these prayers to work I wanted you know I'm already saying the word I'm already living for Christ I wanted it to be quick but that's not the way the Lord worked it out you know so it's us being sensitive too and we got to be in there for the long haul whether yes. the good times and the bad times remember your marital vows most of us say for better or for worse yeah, right? right and so without a doubt guess what in the marriage we like the, the better part but what about those mm -hmm. worst parts you know, and so the, I hope that this would encourage you guys um, in this, you know, in those worst parts, the worst times, the hard times that come your way. You know, may you be encouraged in your marriage and not give up. Yes. You know, and um, we are making this video to come out near Valentine's Day. But something that my husband has done and we've done throughout our marriage is, yeah, we went out for dinner or whatnot to celebrate Valentine's Day, but it's a in a an occurrence throughout the year. It's not just because it's February 14th. Um, you have to date your spouse. You have to continue to connect and be without the kids and take time to be together. So I encourage that you guys do that as well. If you're struggling in your marriage to really have, you know, let the Lord minister to you guys when you guys are alone and together and, and be able to talk about those sensitive subjects and things that you can't necessarily do when you have the kids uh, around. Um, I think we should pray for the married married couples that are watching this. Yeah, yeah, All amen. Right. All right, guys. Well, we thank you for watching, and we're going to pray for you guys now. Lord, we just ask, Father God, that every spouse, uh, husband, uh, wife, Father God, that's watching this, that's listening to these words, Lord, we don't know where they are in their marriage, Father, yes, but Lord. we know, Father, that you do, Father God. Yes, so I Lord. pray, Father God, that if they're grounded in you, Jesus Christ, that they come back to you, Father God, that you have your arms open wide, Father, that you may receive them in their hurt, in their bitterness, in their frustration, whatever they may be going through, Father, I pray that they seek counsel, that they seek help, that they come to you, Father God, with an open heart, Father God, so that you can change them to see that their spouse is a blessing from you, Father God, and that divorce should not be in our vocabulary, Father, but that you united us and that we have to fight this fight because you didn't say that it was going to be easy, Father. You said that the troubles would come. And so, God, I ask that you prepare the couples, Lord, to be able to fight this fight, Father, because the devil wants to come and kill, steal, and destroy our marriages, Father. But we pray that you unify us even greater today, Father, than we were in the past, Lord. We thank you for everyone watching, and we ask that you be blessed and that this word encourages you. So we pray that this encouraged you, and if you're in the midst of this dark season in your marriage, don't give up. Keep praying. Hold on to, to Jesus Christ in the midst of your marriage. Get outside help. Get get your pastors involved. Yes. Um, if need be, get professional help with a Christian counselor as well. Yeah. And you know what? The Lord will work it out. You know, he put marriage together. You know, he put man and woman to be together. You know, and he says, let no man separate that. You know, so let, let nothing separate it. You know, be encouraged. 
uh, please like, share, subscribe. Also, if you have any comments, any more suggestions or yes. encouragement on how we can stay strong in our marriage, feel free to leave your comment below. All right, well, God bless you, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.